Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of our UX TV. And today we will talk about Jacob's Law. That law was created by Jacob Nielsen. And the law basically says that the more your solution is similar to other solutions out there, the more usable it is for the users. Your users will spend more time on other solutions than on your own solution. It is simply that way because they switch between different applications throughout the entire day and the percentage that they will be using your application is relatively low compared to the entire screen time. And that means the more similar your application is to other applications, the more usable it is for the users. A very simple approach for that is by using native elements. If we use the bottom navigation bar, for example, that element is natively implemented on iOS and Android. So if we use that element natively, then it is really easy for the users to understand the interaction simply because they know it from multiple other apps that they have on their phones. The users do not need to learn a new type of interaction because they know it from all the other applications that they have installed on their devices. For us as UI and UX designers, that basically means if we create a new solution, we should have a look out there on the market, how other competitors approach the problem and how they create their interface. I do not want to say that you have to copy things, but you should get an inspiration on how they solve different problems. And if all competitors have found one common approach to a specific interaction, you generally spoken should adapt to that because that way the users know that interaction from all competitors and that makes it easier for them to interact with your solution. But what if you want to create some new approaches? Well, then you can build on common patterns and adjust them only slightly or you adjust them over time more and more. And that way the users know what you have created in the past and then they can over time adapt to your new solution. If we think about the UX agency menu for example, we have used a common pattern that users know from other websites but our menu is not at the top but we have placed it at the bottom of the screen and that is a minor adjustment but the overall interaction is the exact same as they know it from every other website. Use this law wherever you can use it and you will automatically increase the usability and the user experience of your solution. And that's it already again for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked that video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn the notifications bell on and also hit the like button and we will see each other again very soon. Also, make sure that you check out our UX wiki where you can find additional information on Jacob's Law and other topics related to UI and UX design. Thank you.